There's a federal election in 2019. Finally, the Conservatives have a leader in Andrew Scheer. And why I'm excited is because I think, in fact, I know the battleground to fight on and win for 2019 is free speech. Why was, why, why was Donald Trump elected? Some people didn't really like him that much. A lot of people didn't even know his policies. It's because he embodied the anti-political correct, uh, he, he, he was just pro-free speech. He said whatever the heck he felt like. There was no self-censorship and there's some sort of freedom in that. Justin Trudeau absolutely must be painted by the Conservatives as the anti-free speech candidate. He is the one who introduced this sinister motion, M103. He is the one who allowed it to pass and he's going to continue to make this his hill to die on. I guarantee you that come 2019 he will paint all of his opposition as Islamophobes. Funny that, because here I am at the epicenter of such Islamophobia. I saw black women, uh, black men. I saw, uh, you know, all, all colors and hues, Indians, people from Iran, uh, people from the former Soviet Union, all out here, immigrants, uh, you know, settler Canadians, so to speak. Everyone was rallying around this one issue. I even had people who told me they don't vote conservative, but they care about this issue so much. If I were Andrew Scheer, Andrew Scheer, who, by the way, has stood up for free speech consistently, unlike Maxime Bernier, um, Andrew Scheer voted against C-16. That's that transgender uh, bill that says that you have to use the made-up pronouns for people with gender identity disorder. Um, he also voted against M-103. This guy is the real deal. Also within his campaign, he introduced a platform idea to um, defund universities that stand against free speech. If you are a first-time voter, 18, 19, 20-year-old, and you're somewhere on a college campus, or you've just come out of a high school, there's a good chance you know what political correctness is. It's the new form of communism used to shut you up, and you care about free speech, and you want it. If you're an older Canadian, and you've seen the Canada of yesterday, where people were free to say whatever they wanted to, you want to preserve that right. So, Conservatives, if any of you are listening, please make free speech the absolute centerpiece of your campaign. Otherwise, the mainstream media is going to continue on with their sheer derangement syndrome and only make this issue about social conservatism. Change the tune, Conservatives.